Hey Pony Pals, it's Emma from Paint Pony Studios, and today we have the long-awaited Halloween horse from 2018, Nevermore, is in this box. Now, for those of you who ordered from us and you don't see that there are multiple boxes of her, uh, please be calm. We are getting more in. Um, we are gonna go and ship these out by order of who paid first, um, which is just a typical procedure, but they are coming like, tomorrow. So for right now, I do have one box of Nevermore, and I can finally show you guys what she looks like other than that preview picture we got from Briar Fest. All right, so let's go ahead and pop these open, and uh, I will introduce you to this year's Halloween first. Nevermore, and I know a lot of people aren't too big of fans of the Forever Sage mold, but I personally really love her. I have the original Forever Sage, and she is one of my favorite models in my collection. She's really colorful and fun. So no, I didn't keep one of these horses for myself, um, but I do, uh, I really love Gothic, um, Edgar Allan Poe, Raven, just all these themes, and this is probably one of my favorite Halloween horses in years. I just have way too many decorators. Um, so let me read you a little bit about Nevermore, and then I will get more into um, sort of critiquing the paint jobs on these guys for the rest of the video. Edgar Allan Poe's spooky and classic poem, The Raven, is a poetic tale of lament over the loss of a love. The narrator, who is in the throes of sorrow, encounters a raven who only speaks one word, Nevermore. The raven's reputation of this marks the descent of the narrator into torment and madness. The reader is left to assume that the raven stays with the narrator, forever reminding him of his loss. Poe's poems published in 1845 and quickly became his most famous piece of work. In an ode to Poe's poem, Nevermore was created as an eerily beautiful mauve coat. Images of ravens, gothic filigree, spider webs, and a skull cover her sides. A pearly finish and a delicate lacy pattern underneath underscore this model's haunting feeling. Nevermore has an alert expression, almost as if she's checking behind her to see if she too is being watched by the raven. Now I think that's really like a really neat reason to use this mold. The fact that like even my forever sage looks terrified of what's behind her. So that to me is a really, really neat um, aspect of this model. Now, the original Forever Sage, I really liked the test piece that they had, which was a dun. Um, for those of you who didn't know, that Forever Sage was originally supposed to be a dun before they decided on the gorilla. So I would like to see this color, not that the gothic imagery isn't pretty, because it's absolutely gorgeous, and the masking is incredibly well done. They did a very, very nice job on these. Um, but I would like to see this color without the filigree and without the masking just because it's it's such a nice color on this mold. Um, that beautiful, she's actually got frosting on her mane and tail, if you guys can see that. And just the lovely pearlescent sheen to her coat. This one has very well painted eyes. She is stamped Nevermore 2018 on the bottom. And for being... Oh, there is a... Oh, you, you won't be able to catch it on camera. I guarantee you that. Um, but there is a lace pattern on top of the coat. Um, so it's not it's not a part of the black markings. It's actually like a lacy pattern underneath the black. And I'm not quite sure how they achieved that. It almost looks like they layered netting over it and an airbrush to create this really, really, really tiny um, lace pattern. But that's a very cool um, aspect of this model something that you you definitely would not see in pictures. Um, I doubt that even any pictures we could get of her out of the box um, would show that. It's something that you really have to see in person. Now, on top of all that, uh, I don't keep a lot of models in their boxes, and I don't keep a lot of boxes from any models that I buy. However, Nevermore has one of the coolest boxes that I have seen in a very long time. Um, I don't know if you can see, the, what's on the outside, like on the, on the actual cardboard outside of the box, it's like a um, like a cranberry or a wine colored box and it has all these designs in it. The back is really well done too with like the different font and the filigree patterns and 
And then the actual inside of the box has this gorgeous harvest moon and, and the sunset and everything. I and mean, she is just absolutely stunning. They, they knocked it out of the park on everything from her actual pattern to the packaging she comes in. Um, easily one of the best Halloween horses in years. And it kind of part of me wishes that I could take one out of the box and open it up for you guys to see and have her in hand because I would also like to see her other side. I'm very curious as to whether or not um, she is exactly symmetrical. I'm really hoping that she is. That would be a super cool touch just because that was a big part of the um, Gothic era of art and architecture, that symmetry. Uh, so that would be really neat to see. I will have to bug um, Mac Briars, uh, Courtney, for those of you who remember Courtney from our Briarfest adventures. One of these is hers. So I'll have to um, hound her to get some pictures of it out of the box and so that I can actually have it in hand um, to see both sides. But for now, Pony Pals, we have one of the most awesome Halloween horses that I have seen in years. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. Hopefully we can get Courtney to get us some photos of her nevermore as well um, so you guys can see what she looks like um, full body. But for now, Pony Pals, thanks for sticking around and Happy Halloween from Paint Pony Studios. Bye.